At the Delaware Standard Bread Owners Association's banquet, the James T. Case Jr. Horizon Award was presented to a winner who's not only a rising star in Delaware, but in the world of harness racing. At 21 years old, the son of top trainer George Teague Jr. may seem quite young, but he's already got two decades of experience in the business. I just remember going, going to the barn when I was really young, when I was uh, barely walking and going to the barn and um, just doing stalls with my mom and then being lucky enough to jog horse with my dad, just one or two, but uh, mainly doing water buckets and just stuff around the barn so they can watch me instead of like a daycare or something like that. In the stretch drive coming after Custer the Dragon. Room at the rail for winking at you, but it's Custer the Dragon, Montreal Teague. Fast forward to 2012 and the Delaware resident who graduated from high school just two and a half years ago has found himself in the top classes on the racetrack. The pressure is probably a little more intense than a final exam in algebra, so How's he dealing with it? It's still nerve wracking. I mean, I see all the big drivers say, I mean, they've been in so many more than me, but I mean, right when I get behind the gate, it all goes away. But I'm, other than that, I'm really nervous every time. Montrell had an incredible 2011 as he teamed up with the three-year-old pacer, Custer the Dragon, to pick up victories in the $300,000 Max Hemp, the $500,000 Hoosier Cup, a Meadowlands Pace Elimination, and an Adios Pace Elimination. It was at the Meadows where they scored in 148 and 1. The time, the fastest ever mile for a three year old on a 5 8 mile track in harness racing history. Custer the Dragon to the outside, Custer the Dragon, and Montreal T. 148 and 1, a new all age track record. He's a gutsy little horse. I mean, he non stop speed, and uh, everything doesn't always go his way, but he always, most of the time, comes out on top. In addition to his big wins in stakes races, he has impressed local fans with plenty of visits to Victory Lane at Harrington and Dover. He piloted two DSBF champions last season and won the prestigious Governor's Cup. Those accomplishments in the first state and beyond took him right into the headlines of USA Today. We spoke with Montrell at the Delaware Standard Bread Owners Association's banquet. On the evening, he accepted the James T. Case Jr. Horizon Award. First of all, Montrell, were you surprised when you got this award this evening? Very surprised. I knew there were some other people that well deserved to get the award, but I was very happy to get it myself. So tell me about 2011. It was a huge year for you, but I want to know about your favorite moment. I'm going to even let him pick a couple favorite moments if he wants to. Uh, anything with Custer Dragon, he just made my year. I mean, driving a horse like that is just amazing, but uh, if I had to pick one out, it would definitely be the Huger Cup because he's the last one and track record and seeing what Toll Roof went in and I took care of him, but then come back and win it myself, it was amazing. Okay, now the Governor's Cup is another big race that you won. You won so many races this year with Custer the Dragon that you did really well with. And then in Delaware, you win a lot of overnights, you end up piloting like DSBF champions, and then you win the Governor's Cup. So tell me about that. Uh, another great, great moment in this year, just riding lengths and stuff like that, just an older horse that has a lot more experience than I did. Well, he had like four or five years of racing before I even drove him. So, and seeing myself on the program next year, it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be awesome. When it's happening, right? Are you kind of like, is this really going on in my life? Because now you look back and you're like, wow, that's amazing. But when it's happening, what's it like? Kind of surreal? Yeah, I mean, just live in the moment and just, I mean, there's no words you can put to it. It's just amazing. I mean, just to, uh, I mean, people twice my age wait for this moment to get a horse like Custer Dragon and some of the other ones, really good ones that I drove. And um, I just got really lucky. I got it at 20 and 21 years old. You seem really grounded, though, right? Do people tell you that? Yeah, I try to. I mean, I always have fun. I just think it's a fun sport, and I love it. Are you going to get a tattoo, like, that says Custer the Dragon or anything like that? <laughs> I was actually thinking about getting his initials on me. Really? My favorite horse, so I don't know. I don't have any tattoos, 
So like, should I get some? Like, what should I get? We can get a master uh, matching custard dragon one together. Very cool. Oh my god. And you know what? We'll do it on post time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Montreal. Thanks.